It's Mark Summers from Summers Technical Services. I'm going to do a little quick uh, cut list customization demo here in SolidWorks. So I've got me a little weldment here made with a 3D sketch. So we'll look at the sketch real quick and we can see that it's geometrically constrained but not uh, dimensionally constrained. So I need a little work to figure out how big I want it to be, but this will do for a demo. So if I come over to my drawing, and I've already made some views here. Now I want to do a cut list. So I come up to my tables pull down and say weld my cut list. I'll select the view to base it on. And I've got lots of options over here, but I'll just use the defaults and say OK. And then I'll place my new cut list. So it does a good job putting the assigning item numbers, uh, adding up the quantities, giving it uh, logical descriptions, and uh, maybe most importantly, calculating the length. So I know how long these tubes are and I change the design of the weldment, obviously those will change as well. So here's where I want to do a custom column in my cut list that multiplies these quantities by a quantity of these assemblies I want to make. So say I want to make two of these assemblies, I really need to make eight of these pieces. So I'm going to select this column, right click, and insert column to the right. And so I have a dumb column here, and I'll title it, double click on that cell, and just call it total quantity. And now here's where the magic happens. So I'm going to take this uh, first cell here and click on the summation sign, which is gets me into the equations. And I want to have a custom property that multiplies by this column here to give my total quantity. So first thing I need to do is go File Properties. And I've got lots of custom properties here uh, for my title block. I want to add a new one and call it uh, Total underscore QTY. And I don't want it to be text, I want it to be a number. And right now I want it to be two. So now I've added that, I've made it available to my model and drawing, but I don't, uh, haven't used it yet, so let's use it now. So I'll select on the total quantity of this first cell here, and I'll hit this summation button, which is equation. And I want this to be equal to custom properties, the one I just made, which is in here somewhere, total quantity times, which is shift 8, asterisk, and that cell right there, which is B2. And it multiplies 2 by 4 and gives me 8. And so if I do that a couple more times, I want that to be equal to total quantity, asterisk, B3. And you'd want to put this in your template if you do it all the time, so you don't have to do this over and over again. Uh, so one last time, we'll select total quantity times before. And so that there we go. Also, if I've got a note here that also tells the production folks what I'm doing here, I don't want this to be a dumb text, so I have to go in and change this every time. So what I really want to do is get rid of that hard two. And in my note properties over here, I want to hit this button here that's the link to property. And again, I can pull down the file properties and find my total quantity and have that automatically update that note. So not surprising, I go File Properties and change total quantity from 2 to 3. Well, not surprising, it changes on that note. And if I hit my Rebuild button, it'll also update my total quantity column. So, and you can add weights, you can add all kinds of different equations. So I think you get the idea. So anyway, with that, we'll uh, close this YouTube video out and look for new and exciting videos and YouTube on the Summers Technical Services site.